Hey, how's it going? So lately I've been using the divine word um, for healing for my clients. So I thought, let's just do that today. Uh, if you're tuning in here, then the words that are spoken um, from our creative divine love um, are going to be spoken and they're going to be just for you. So if you're tuning in, whatever words are going to be spoken here, these words are specifically for you. So just let's give thanks really quickly um, before this message even comes across, before these words are even spoken, um, thanking um, our divine creator for uh, the healing or whatever illumination or awareness is going to come through from these words. Okay, are you guys ready? So if you have not tuned into my channel before, just know when I speak this divine word, um, it, my eyes are probably going to flutter. It's going to be coming from here, there, and everywhere, but, but this is going to be different. This isn't just a message. This is going to be spoken um, for healing. These divine words are whatever is needed for healing. Creation begins um, at the very beginning. And at the very beginning, uh, there was a word that was spoken. This word was spoken and it caused creation to manifest into visible form through this word. Now I say that that was the beginning, but if we go back really to the beginning, that word that was spoken came from consciousness. Just as you cannot speak any words without thought, if you didn't have any consciousness, not only could you not speak, you couldn't do anything. So as we go back to consciousness, this is our focus of this spoken word today, consciousness. If you're listening to this, I want you to close your eyes and imagine what it is that I'm about to speak. There's one divine mind. Everything in all of creation comes from this mind. This mind controls the visible realities in which we all live. This consciousness, awareness, because of its intricacies, creates many different forms that become visible in our reality. These consciousness seeds, otherwise known as thoughts, are planted. Now, sometimes we plant things in very fruitful soil. The ground is very harvestable. And sometimes we plant seeds and if it's as if we've scattered them on top of a bunch of rocks. Now at some point these seeds might get a bit of moisture and they might begin to sprout. But because of the conditions of the soil or the rock, very soon even if there had been moisture, the sun will become too overbearing and will dry out these seeds and they will not turn into full form. This is like irresponsible words that are spoken without any emotional attachment to them. These words that are spoken because of the karmic consequences, will inevitably at some point come back to you. But these words will not make a big harvest. This can be a very good thing. This means that sometimes when we say words in anger or disgust or whatever it happens to be, Sometimes when we say words in these manner, we then feel really 
guilty about it afterwards and we wonder what kind of damage has been done. The karma that comes from our words does depend on where it falls the effects of what was said to another person. Now, words that are spoken with lots of meaning behind them, lots of feeling behind them, with lots of intention and passion behind them are like consciousness seeds that were planted in very good, <clears throat> very good soil dirt. These, when attended to, will make a very big harvestable crop. This is a crop that is visible. We create with these emotions, these types of seeds, visible reality in which at some point in the future, we will live in. This divine mind controls everything. The awareness of this divine mind is the path that we should follow to seek enlightenment. I mean, when I say seek enlightenment, that we should seek to connect with the one divine mind, the oneness of the divine mind. Any beliefs that you have that keep you separated from this oneness of this divine mind, keep you separated from the potential of being in the flow of the divine mind love that exists within everything. When we leave behind our past and our old beliefs, and we step into new beliefs, new ways of being, we create new realities and new karma for ourselves. You can't if you can't move past your past, you will repeat it inevitably over and over and over. This can occur lifetime. This can even occur lifetime after lifetime. If someone refuses to become aware of themselves, this divine mind controls everything that's in the universe. It is known as mind power. You are in control of this mind power and therefore your reality and all of the things you witness in it come from mind power, your own mind power. You are not a victim of your circumstances, but the creator of them. Even if you have been born into this life to abusive parents, you at some point in the past set this in motion and created it for yourself. It was chosen by you because there was very valuable lessons that needed to be learned because of it. And because you needed to learn these lessons, there were certain things that needed to happen in order to learn these lessons. For example, if you needed to learn forgiveness, then you are going to be put into situations that are uncomfortable, that are going to push you to personal and self growth so that you can create forgiveness in your life. For example, 
If you needed to forgive another person in a past life and you didn't do it, perhaps instead you were seeking revenge or something else, or perhaps you didn't have the chance to forgive this person, you then will be gifted that person in your life again, perhaps in another form than the previous life. This person will, through the creation, cause you to feel a certain way where you then believe that forgiveness is needed. You may view this person as a villain in your story, but truly, if you learn from it, they can be your hero that pushed you to the point of personal and spiritual growth. Therefore, anyone in your life that needs forgiveness has been a creation from your mind power for your benefit. Stop blaming other people. Other people, their job is awareness. So let's say you go out with a friend and they have certain character traits that bother you. These become louder and louder. As you become aware of them, as you view them from the outside, you may not like them. But the awareness in this is that it is actually about you. Perhaps you need to set boundaries. Perhaps you need to be made aware of something inside of yourself, similar to what you are seeing in that person that you haven't admitted to yourself or haven't created the conscious awareness of it yet. Through creation, and all of its visible forms, we can become aware of ourself completely, but we have to take the blinders off. These blinders are self-defense mechanisms. They want us to look at other people, not our personal self growth. Mind power is all that is. The visible reality in which you live was created by your mind power. I want you to imagine the universal mind. This divine mind that is all that is, that everything comes from. Now imagine that this mind is your mind. You have limited potential with your human mind. Divine mind does not limit anything anyone, anywhere, everywhere you go, there is divine mind, consciousness, awareness, awareness of self. This mind that is your mind, that is only your mind, limits people, places, things, work, activities. It places past limits on the present, therefore recreating them 
for visible manifestation over and over. This is why cleansing the past consciousness is the most important thing you can do for enlightenment. If there are health care concerns that you are experiencing in your life right now, it has been your emotional body combined with the mind power that has created them for you. You, unaware of what you've been doing to yourself through resentments, angers, past hates, judgments, criticisms, etc., have created the current conditions in which you reside. Forgive the past. Let go completely of anger and resentments. Wish for those who have harmed you to be filled with heavenly divine love. If you can do this genuinely, then you know you have truly forgiven. When we use this heavenly love and we stop criticism and judgment, complaining and condemning, we then get to live in the divine flow and see our mind power work for us positively. Negative, negatively working mind power will show up in your life as negative outcomes, undesirable things, perhaps flat tires or accidents or something else undesirable. We attract these things to ourselves through our mind power. We might blame other people, more than likely will, if these things are happening to us, but it is of our own creation and making that we have done these things to ourselves. Creation makes everyone's lives more wonderful when you know the secrets to creations. Mind power is the utmost important factor in everything in this universal mind consciousness world that we have created and are currently and currently reside in it. Because many of us don't want to admit to ourselves that we play a role in this victim mentality that we have. And we want to blame others because it's easier to do that than to truly, deeply examine our minds, our hearts, our thoughts, and see and realize that it is us, we don't grow. When we can see and know and understand that 100% of everything we have experienced has been a creation of our own making, then things change for us. Karma becomes a better thing, a wonderful thing. Sometimes people say the word karma and assume something bad is going to come. This means their mind 
created something bad that will come. When we have personal growth and are spiritually aware, then the karma that comes to us is a wonderful creation in the making. Something extraordinary that we wish to have in our lives. Karma is a wonderful gift to all of us. Those who are blind to themselves suffer in their own karma just the same as those who are aware and can create their own karma. Everyone is doing the same thing with their mind power, creating, but some people are aware and some people are not. And therefore, some people create for themselves over and over the same undesirable circumstances that their past dictated to them and they therefore expect to be created again in the future and therefore it is. Some people might say, no, no, I'm changing this. And they might begin to speak words of affirmation. These words when spoken are a wonderful gift. What a wonderful gift. Because the more that they're spoken, the more they will be believed by the person who is speaking them. When this belief gets to be at 100%, then the manifestations unfold right in front of you easily, effortlessly. The spoken word creates. When there's emotion and feeling and intention behind it and belief in it, this is the most important element. Limits that have been placed on your beliefs truly limit them. And therefore, limit your reality and your creations. So, remove the limits you have set on your mind and henceforth create wonderful karma for yourselves. Give good, do good, be good, and wonderful goodness will flow into your life abundantly, effortlessly, easily. What a wonderful gift karma can be for those who expect wonderful gifts to come to them and expect it with a full, open, and joyous, expectant heart. What a wonderful gift this is. Thank you to the Divine Creator for this message here today. Thank you, guys. Hey, so that was the message. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. Um, thanks for your likes and comments, and thanks for everybody who follows me. Um, I just love you guys so much, um, and I hope that you like um, this video. Um, yeah. I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Um, take care.